6 Reasons Why Do I Have Menstrual Cramps But No Period If your periods are playing hide and seek even when cramps have knocked you down then these possibilities can be in play. These are the reasons why do I have period pain but no period. 1. Ovulation In the middle of the menstrual cycle, or about 10 to 14 days before your period, ovulation occurs. This is the release of an egg from a follicle within the ovary. You'll notice pain on one side of your lower belly. It lasts a few minutes to a few hours. It can be sharp and sudden, or you might just have a dull cramp. The side of the pain depends on which ovary released the egg. It may switch sides every month or strike the same place each time. 2. Stress Stress is a surprisingly common reason for missing your period. Stress increases your cortisol levels, which affects your hormone balance, including the hormones that regulate your ovaries and uterine lining. But, you still might feel crampy. Therapy, exercise, yoga, and meditation can all help get your stress under control and your periods back on track. 3. Pregnancy You may be scared and ask yourself, I have painful menstrual periods but no period, could I get pregnant? When you're around 4 weeks pregnant, about 2 weeks after ovulation, when your period would ordinarily be due, you can have what's called implantation bleeding and cramping, as the embryo implants into the lining of your uterus. What's the pain like? Mild and doesn't last long. The bleeding is light spotting, and not every pregnant woman has this symptom. If you already know you're pregnant, there are some other mild cramps that may be part of a healthy pregnancy. 4. Pelvic Inflammatory Disease PID. It is the result of a bacterial infection, often because of a sexually transmitted infection like gonorrhea or chlamydia. The infection can affect your uterus, fallopian tubes, ovaries, vagina or cervix. You'll have pain on both sides of your lower belly and lower back. It can happen any time of the month. Fever, nausea, vomiting, spotting, abnormal vaginal discharge and pain or burning during sex or peeing are all symptoms of PID. It must be treated with antibiotics. 5. Ovarian Cancer This type of cancer starts in the ovaries, the organs that make your eggs. You may write the pain off as something else, like constipation or gas. But the hurting and pressure in your lower belly won't go away. Your belly may swell so much that you find it hard to button your pants. You might get full quickly when you eat and notice a strong, frequent need to pee. Abdominal bloating, urinary problems, weight loss, and abdominal or pelvic pain are all possible symptoms of ovarian cancer. See a doctor if you have these symptoms for more than two weeks. 6. Appendicitis Appendicitis is a condition of the appendix which leads to inflammation. This can happen due to some blockages or obstruction which might develop because of formation of mucus, parasites, or even fecal matter. It leads to severe pain in the abdomen region and therefore at times highly mistaken as normal period cramp. When to see a doctor? Anyone experiencing frequent cramps outside of their period should speak to a doctor for a proper diagnosis. Early diagnosis and treatment of PID are essential, as damage to the reproductive system may be irreversible and can cause long-term complications. If a doctor thinks a person may have endometriosis or uterine fibroids, they may refer them to a gynecologist. The gynecologist can do a variety of tests to diagnose these conditions, including a physical exam, an ultrasound, or a laparoscopy.